right, you're back. Screaming Demons RC, SDRC. We're in the shop today. Well, I am in the shop today. And I've got a bit of... Uh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me there. I've got a bit of a, pro a project laid out here. I'm just getting over a cold myself. I've, <coughs> I've got a bit of a project laid out here. Uh, this is for Dozer. It's going to be the all-metal uh, Wraith Rock Bouncer build we're doing for him. So we've got all sorts of stuff here. We've got... Some nice metal axles. Those are super wide portal axles. Sorry if I cough a few times during this video. <coughs> Just getting over a cold. It's that time of year. Weather change. Loving it. So we've got, uh, we've got lighting kits up here. We've got a light bar here. A servo. Uh, Injora. I've never used one of these, but it looks good. The specs look all right. We're going to try that out. Uh, we've got body panels here and the mounting kit for the body panel you can see the one that's on the top there there's one that's that go on the sides and on the hood um what else we got we got a 55 turn motor we've got the hobby wing uh quick run crawler brushed electronic speed control 80 amp uh that model is the what the, the, was it does it not say on there hold on uh, looking for a model number. Oh boy. Sorry, I have only had one coffee. Can't see a model number. I'm getting old. Need some glasses. We've got a screw kit over here. That should give us everything we need to assemble the vehicle. Well, most, almost everything. If not, I've got another box full of stuff Gord's given me. Um, we've got these piggyback shocks here, which look amazing. I'll get them out and show you. Uh, they're going to be really nice. I'm going to have to look up how to actually bleed them and do the whole process because there's the piggyback cartridges here for the extra oil and there's all the lines I mean there's a lot to it it comes with gloves and tweezers and some uh, tape here to seal up the seal up the threads it's a really nice uh, high-end kit here's the um, here's what it's called RC run piggyback shocks it's kind of hard to see but RC run piggyback shocks. If you're interested in looking at those, I'm going <coughs> to look for a video on YouTube, see how people are bleeding them and assembling them because there's no instructions. Uh, here's the roll cage for the, uh, it comes with the, the whole kit, I guess it comes with the cage and this comes with the cage, which the rest of it all comes with it. It's a one piece kit. I believe I'll have to ask Gord about that. We've got two sets of drive shafts over here. This set is like all steel, black, um, looks pretty good, simple, nice design. Then we've got another set over here. These are a little fancier. We've got some uh, red anodized aluminum covers on the end. I you know they're nice looking, but we'll, sorry if I was too close. Uh, we'll check out the quality of these and I'll let Gord decide which he would like or I'll just decide seeing as I'm building this truck. Uh, we've got all the nice new links here, nice aluminum links, lightweight, they're all cut out, they're nice quality, um, they're nice, I really like them actually, I have links like that on my RC, uh, my Wraith, and they're heavy, so those are nice. Um, what else we got? We've got this aluminum machined uh, bottom plate for the chassis, which if you know your Wraiths, it goes in the bottom there, Gord. Got a nice transmission here for himself. All aluminum. It's kind of cool. I like the spur cover there. I'll take that all apart. Grease it all up. Make sure everything's good to go. Lock tight all the screws. And then this goes right here. Get the camera focused on there. This would sit right. Oops, sorry, Gord. This would sit right about like that. She'll go in there. Sitting in the truck. I believe the spur goes towards the front of the vehicle, so it would sit like this. Sorry if I'm not getting on that. I'm trying to watch what I'm doing here and do some camera work. So it would sit like that in the vehicle. Uh, it's going to be a cool truck. You guys will have to watch the uh, build. I'm going to try and do it in like a few parts, uh, this video in a few parts, and release it like that. I got a bit of a touch up to do here on the front. Right there, I got a bit of touch-up to do on some paint that scratched off from where I was hanging it while I painted it. <coughs> I still got more paint left over here, so this is what, I, this is what we used to paint it. It was nothing uh, nothing super special, but there's a bit left in there. And so I'll touch that up. And yeah, it's looking like it's going to be an amazing build, so you guys will have to 
you know, uh, ask me some questions, leave me a comment. If you've got a Wraith build like this, you're going, uh, let me know what you've done to it. Uh, we're still waiting on some tires and wheels. We know what we're using. I think Gord's ordered them or will be ordering them ASAP. I just messaged him about that yesterday. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think he also wants a winch put on this thing. And what else do we need? Um, uh, maybe I'm not, I'm going to talk to him and see what he wants to do back here. Has a location for a spare tire. I don't know if he wants to do a spare tire or what. He was talking about an interior for this thing. So if he gets that ordered, I can get on painting that, detailing that, and uh, fitting it before I get carried away with the rest of this. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I'm going to go have my other coffee. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned. Follow this build. It's going to be a good one in the end. Screaming Demons RC. SDRC. We're out. Mm -hmm.